Uh, hi, how you doing? Like, I still don't know how to open these videos, but I'm hoping like one day I will have some kind of tagline or phrase to say when I start these videos. But until then, hey, it's me, CT, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi. Uh, I have three neurological disorders, hydrocephalus being the main one. These disorders almost took my life last year in 2019, and now I am coming forward and speaking about them. If you have not seen already, my hydrocephalus story part one and part two is above, so check those out. I am now coming out about other things that happened during 2019 that maybe somebody might need to hear. They can, you know, see what it was like from my experience because, you know, I never thought that having hydrocephalus, I would have gone through what I did, but it happened. And so now I'm speaking out about it. I just wanna say that I am not a burn victim at all. I'm not trying to pretend I am a burn victim. This is just something that I went through. If you can't tell by the picture, it, it was not comforting. It was painful and it was all through my body because now, ever since everything I went through in 2019, my chemistry and my brain has changed. I am now allergic to adhesive. I cannot wear any kind of bandages or band-aids that have the adhesive on it. And that is why I reacted the way I did and that whole side of my body was red. Same with my stomach, it was covered in adhesive. They had to take it off. I was reacting really bad to it. They even had to put oven mitts on my hands so I wouldn't like touch it and scratch it. It was the worst experience ever. Even trying to learn how to walk again, like that was painful because my back was weak, my legs were weak, my legs were so tiny, but I feel like that burning sensation of all of that on my body was probably the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I don't know why I am now allergic and I don't know why my skin reacts the way it does. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I don't know. But I can say like after everything I went through last year, my chemistry is now different. I reacted that bad as you can see in the picture and you know with my stomach I can't have any kind of bandages on me and that's what will happen and it'll feel like my skin is on fire it's horrible and the same with makeup when I put it on my skin feels like it's on fire and my eyes water and it gets red and so it's just horrible I can't wear makeup I mean obviously look at me I'm not wearing makeup uh, I did buy hypoallergenic makeup, which I will try in a few days. I'm trying to wait till this, like the irritation goes down because my eyes still kind of burn from wearing makeup yesterday in the video that I went to the doctor's appointment where I got rejected. If you look in the video, you can tell like it doesn't really look like I'm wearing anything because it wore off my face, the mascara it was off because my eyes were just watering so much so it was kind of like a waste to wear that makeup but i will try in a few days to see how this hypoallergenic makeup you know affects me i'm hoping it works because i do have a wedding i'm going to in a few days like i hope i can wear it because i don't want to be like ugly <laughs> like i can't wear a filter out in public i can't wear snapchat with me all the time so I'm hoping this hypoallergenic makeup works. I don't remember how long I had this rash because my memory was really shot, but it was for a good while. Uh, I felt that for, for a couple of days, but I do remember having my mittens, my little oven mittens on, so I couldn't scratch or anything, and it was agonizing, guys. It was horrible. I have been through childbirth, many brain surgeries. I feel like I could have tattoos all over my body and it would not compare to what I felt last year having that rash or that irritation on my skin because it felt like my skin was on fire. I am not a burn victim. I don't know what that feels like, but if I could describe it, if you put your hand on an iron or some kind of like oven or a hot iron on the highest degree, it's like holding it and not letting go. That's how my skin felt. I felt like I had burns all over my body and it just felt like I was being touched by an iron and it would not get off my skin. 
that's how irritated my skin was it was bad and you know I don't really what do I use now I had a boo-boo a while back could not use adhesive because of what could have happened I had to use like gauze and tape I had a MacGyver I had to find an alternate way to uh, cover my boo-boo like it's just weird I cannot use any kind of band-aid or anything adhesive um, there is like this medical tape I've used that but with like bigger cuts from like hiking and stuff i have used gauze and tape um that's all i've really used i don't use band-aids at all i'm i'm too terrified to do that again i don't want to feel that pain ever again after yesterday wearing makeup to where it burned my face you know i just I can't do this, so if I have to go without wearing makeup the rest of my life, that's fine. I usually do the natural look anyways. I'm a tomboy. It doesn't bother me. But when I do go somewhere nice or if I'm going on a date, I would like to look my best. But, you know, if I can't help it, I can't help it. I'm hoping that hypoallergenic makeup will work, but I will find that out in a few days. But that is my little story for the day. My skin felt like it was on fire. It wasn't literally, but I wanted to share that story because hydrocephalus changed the chemistry in my brain. I'm not sure how, I'm not a scientist, but everything I went through last year, they told me my chemistry is different. I am now allergic to adhesive and I'm now allergic to makeup. Don't know how, but the main source of it all was because of hydrocephalus. Are any of you allergic to anything now because of hydrocephalus? Please let me know in the comments below because I would like to hear it. I never thought I would be allergic to band-aids or allergic to makeup at least. But it's just another bump in the road due to hydrocephalus. It's just something I have to learn to live with. So it is what it is. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Continue following me on this journey with hydrocephalus. And I will see you all later. Bye!